Hello YouTube, this is Angie the Red. This is Age of Pirates 2. This is a fantastic game and I wanted to do a little bit of a let's play here. Uh, just of me playing one little mission, but I'm, as I go I'm going to talk about the game because it's a fantastic game, one of the best pirate games ever made. Uh, but this game is not only pirating, it's also you can work for nations. It has the four the typical four nations that were in uh, this new world period. Spain, England, France, and what's called the, the Dutch Alliance, or there's different names for it. It's essentially a collection of traders, but they did run uh, towns and they were an alliance because their participation in the New World Era was not as strong as the other three nations, so they're kind of grouped together. In any case, there are towns you can visit. There are, uh, you can have ships, you can have officers, as you see here on the left. I've got three officers with me. These are fighter officers, but you can have uh, people who are captains that uh, are in your fleet. Uh, there are swords, there are guns, there are merchants, there are everything. And you can do whatever you want. You can be a, a pirate and you can run uh, those kinds of missions, or you can be, a, 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 be with a nation and run those kinds of missions. I'm, I'm in a town right now. I was just in the, uh, in the store. But let me show you what the typical town looks like. This is a town, and you will be able to tell based on what the soldiers look like. But also in this game, you can take over towns, you can run towns, uh, you can you also get rent money for the towns. So if it's a, a popular town, uh, then uh, you get more tax money than such a poor town. Um, you can also take city over for other nations and then give them to a nation, so you could take a a town that Spain has and give it to England, whatever you want to do. Um, there's also all kinds of random missions, not just for nations and pirates uh, leaders, but also for um, just uh, people on the t uh, people in the town kind of run into you and say, hey, my husband's been captured by a pirate, go and save him. Or uh, You can also do missions for Captain Morgan, which I'm going to do, and I'll show you that. So this, mi uh, this mission here, Find and Kill Edward Law, is actually a mission for Captain Morgan. And one of the earlier parts of this mission is he actually gives you a black, well, I think it's called a black mark, and that's actually historically accurate. Captain Morgan didn't like someone, he would, uh, he would have one of his uh, people who worked for him, like me I guess at the moment, go and deliver a black mark to a person. And if you had a black mark on you, then you were essentially a target for anyone who wanted to kill you. That's how that worked, and so he would essentially target you like that if he didn't like you and then someone would get you at some point. There's a bunch of merchants here um, Glad in this you town. By, Captain. I'll just show you the kinds of stuff that are up for sale here. All kinds of uh, maps and uh, these books give you skill bonuses and there's other stuff. Uh, those are just loot. Uh, these rings and all that are just loot and these potions are for health and for uh, getting rid of poison and then there's all kinds of maps and stuff. You can also get random missions for, uh, that people will give you a treasure map. So I'll show you that. No. Oh, I thought it crashed. Uh, there's, if you go to items, and you can look at a treasure map that I just bought, actually. And there's the treasure map, so it tells you where it is. It, it doesn't, I guess it's a little bit better if you played uh, Port Royale 1 or um, uh, Patrician. They actually, you actually have to collect pieces of a map, which is a little better, but this one's just give you kind of a generic map and then they tell you what it is. So that's, um, that's part of it as well. Uh, I'll show you what's in a town. Typically there's a store you can buy and sell. Maybe I'll show you. You can buy and sell uh, commodities, just like in Port Royale and Patrician. And uh, certain towns want things more than others. So if it's white, then it's just a regular, uh, regularly priced item, although the prices vary a little bit. Powder is something that is banned in a town, but you can buy it from the town, but you can't sell it in the town. Uh, what you can do is you can smuggle it, and that gives you a lot of money, but it's a pirate activity, and you can get caught, and then you have to fight soldiers. Uh, food and rum, your, all your boats need to sustain its crew. Weapons your, your crew needs if you want to have effective crew in ship battles. Uh, medicine your, your uh, ship needs also. You get scurvy and things like that. Sailcloth and planks are used to repair your ship. Everything else here are commodities that you can buy and, and sell. Blue means that the, um, the town wants more of it, so they're going to pay a higher price for it. 
Green means that the town produces it, for example, and it's cheap, and you can buy it uh, at a cheap price. So you go down to the bottom here is where the more expensive stuff is. So slaves, for example, you can uh, sell at a high price here. Livestock you can buy at a low price here. And so, of course, what you do is you run around. If you want to play the merchant, you can run around. But you can always do. You can always play a merchant. You have boats and you have storage space, so you can always buy and sell stuff as you come into towns. For example, buy gold really cheap somewhere and then sell it really expensive somewhere else and make a lot of money. And as you see, as you can see here, some of the boats that I do have, I've got gold on some of them. That's worth a lot of money. Uh, that I bought gold somewhere really cheap. That reminds me, there is there is also a mission. It's a pirate mission where uh, someone meets you in the tavern and says, "Hey, come out to my boat in the harbor and we'll talk." And so you go out and do that. And then he says, um, "I know that there's a, a shipwreck off this beach of a Spanish treasure ship. Let's go loot it and we'll share it." And so you go out there. And there's a whole bunch of soldiers on the beach because they're shipwrecked, but they brought their loot on on the, on the shore. And then you and this pirate group, so there's about four of them and about, and then you and then how many officers you have. You go and you attack these soldiers. If you win, then you share the loot, and that just goes in your ship. Sometimes, though, the pirate screws you, and then he wants all the loot, and then you have to fight him after. So that kind of happens, too. So there's all kinds of that. There's no honor among thieves, right? So... That's probably one of the why, one of the reasons why evil never wins because evil will fight another evil and so it never triumphs over good. Um, I'll show you also the um, the chapel. I'll show you also the chapel. Maybe I'll just uh, the port is where your ships are. Shipyard you can repair your ships and buy new ships and sell ships. Tavern I'll show you the tavern because this is a neat place. Here's the tavern. Here's the tavern. So there's a whole bunch of people sitting here. Some of them are officers, some of them are players. You can find some cards. Here's cards. So you can play cards. I'll play cards really quick just to show you what it's like. You, it's just gambling, right? Just betting. This is 21 or blackjack, although blackjack is not significant. It's just all based on numbers. Ace is 11, so I'm going to take another card. Every card you have to pay money in, and then whoever wins gets the money. Uh, so now I have, what, 11 plus 7 is 18. If I go again, I'm probably going to get screwed, but 18 is kind of low for 21, so I'm going to go again. And I'm over. So he wins. Um, I had to go first. Everyone takes one card, and then I had to go first. Sometimes he has to go first. So if he goes over, then you win money. But that's how that works. So that's how that works. Uh, you can also play dice or bones, as it was called. And that's the same kind of thing as Yahtzee. So you try to get houses or triplets of dice or whatever it is. And for every dice that you roll, and for every dice that you change, you get one change. You have to pay money in, and then that's the pot, right? There's also a smuggler here. That's how you can smuggle stuff in. You, you basically talk to him and say, hey, I've got stuff to smuggle. And then you go to a, a beach, and then you meet, and you sell the stuff to him. And sometimes you get caught, sometimes the soldiers come by. Um, you can also pick up sailors here. So if you need more sailors, you pick them up here, and they have stats. The longer you have sailors, uh, the, they, they get better skilled. If you're just getting new new guys, then their stats are going to change. You can also increase your crew morale by having rum on board, by giving them money, just uh, just the prize kind of thing. Or you can also visit a burlesque house, which I don't, there's none in this town, but in some of the bigger towns there's a burlesque house, which is like a whorehouse, and you can buy whores for your entire boat, and that gives them morale too. You can do all that in this game. And then you can also get missions from the whorehouses too. There's tons of stuff to do in this game. Um, let me go in order. So I talked about the shipyard. Um, the residence is the pirate leader of the, of the town or the governor of the town. You, you get missions for him. You can also do high stakes gambling with him. High stakes card playing and all that. Money lender you can leave money with if you're doing really well in the game and you're getting hundreds of thousands of doubloons. You can leave money with him and he'll give you interest, which I've done. Actually, I could show you that. You can also get missions with a money lender. Um, I'll show you what uh, how much money I've got in here. So I want to withdraw my investment. So I have in there almost a million doubloons because I've been playing for a while. 
and he gives you interest. I think it's about 4 or 5% interest per month, per month, which is pretty good, so. Alright, so I'm just going to leave that in there. Um, okay, next, the church. The church has random people in it that sometimes will sell you stuff, or sometimes give you rumors. Sometimes they'll also tell you about, I'll show you this, um, you can get, no, uh, this one. You can get you can uh, get information about if you're going to play the merchant. This is helpful. Um, you can get information about uh, different cities and what they're looking for, what their um, what their uh, what commodities are paying a high price for, or what commodities are paying a low price for. Every time you visit a town, you get this because, of course, you visited the store and, and you get the information. But you can also uh, talk to random people and they will tell you notice if there's a date I'll subscribe to these because the merch the stuff will change um, you can talk to random people and they will tell you hey guess what in La Vega uh, they're really looking for sandalwood or whatever it is and then you can get all that information then you can in the town you're in you can buy the stuff that La Vega needs and then fly to or sail to La Vega and then make a big profit so it's a way of getting informa trade information uh, also, yeah, the priest also sometimes gives you missions, and I'm I hoping that he'll give me the mission. You can also donate money to the church, I'm not really sure what that does, but I'm hoping he gives me a mission uh, to... Oh no, no, this is not a good one. This mission, you have to hang around at the church, and eventually some thieves come in and you kill them. It's kind of boring. I was hoping he'd give me a mission where there's a cave and there's skeletons in it, and you have to kill all the skeletons, but um, he doesn't give me that one, but that's okay. Okay, what else? Uh, the port controller is not useful except in some missions. You have to go and talk to him, but otherwise it's not useful. Okay, so let's go to port and I'll show you my ship. So there's, there is sword fighting in the game, right? But I, I was hoping to get that skeleton mission, but if you uh, like this game and you want to see more, then I, I'll do that. So here's some of my ships in the harbor. There's that one uh, and those other ships in there my, are in the harbor as well. And yes, that's Davy Jones, if you're wondering. Yes, it's a squid man, and yes, he's an officer, and yes, he's in the game. Note, I have a modified version of the game. It's called the Combined Mod. Uh, there's lots of people who've liked this game over the years, and so they've, they've patched it, they've improved it, they've made some really cool ships. So here's my ship. It's just got a single floor of cannons, but you can get double floor cannons, you can get triple floor floored cannons, you can get really fast ships, like corvettes, they're called sometimes. Uh, and then there's... There's all there's tons of ships in the game, and they're all really nicely detailed. And um, you can see on the top right corner, uh, that little that circle thing. There's all my cannons on the left side, the cannons on the right side, the cannons, and then I've got rear cannons, but no front cannons. Uh, and then there's different ammo, and those ships on the left, those are all my ships, etc. That and that over there, that castle, that's the fort. If you do attack a town then you will have to fight the fort first and so you just have to cannon the fort and they cannon you of course alright so let's go to do this mission for Captain Morgan so here's the map and the map of course is typical Caribbean map and there's all kinds of ships that are around you can um, be a bit of you can do a bit of stealth in this game too like for example you can go into nation here's all the uh, war and peace so peace um, neutral and then at war and so if I'm Dutch then uh, England will attack me on site uh, France, France is an ally uh, Spain doesn't care of course pirates are at war with everyone right uh, so that's also to know my flag currently is the British or I mean the Dutch flag but I can change my flag if I want uh, these flags are acquired through skills but what the flags do is that I can enter secretly a British town by showing a British flag and then I can get past the fortress the fortress won't shoot me but the soldiers will still attack me because they know I'm not a British person I just have the British flag on my ship that doesn't mean that I'm a British citizen and so they will attack me what you can do to get into nations that you're at war with is you can um, buy a trade license and that's how you can get in so there's all kinds of, there's, this, this game is sophisticated there's all kinds of stuff you can do and even to get past stuff uh, when you're at war with someone or whatever. Of course, you also have reputations. If you have a really, really negative reputation with a nation, they will send uh, bounty hunters to kill you. They will send ships to get you. Uh, so that happens as well. Uh, okay. Uh, there's also, maybe I'll go through this now as well. 
you're you have skills galore in this game all the characters have uh, stats and they have skills these skills level up as you use them uh, personal skills so fighting skills and ship skills I don't want to go through all of these things but maybe I'll just say a couple things about some of them leadership gets you more officers and more respect and um, more people will be willing to join you uh, especially other captains uh, who have who come with ships because officers are are just people that have a skill that have good skill in something Yes, there's pistols uh, in the game. There's all the weapons types. Uh, luck is for everything. Luck is for critical hits. Luck is for gambling. Uh, stealth is for using the flags, essentially. There's all the ship skills, which I think are fairly, fairly intuitive. Uh, there's your health and everything, and how much money you have, and your energy. As you're fighting, you lose energy. You can get upgrades in personal stats and ship stats. I've got one here to use. Notice that all those flags I had, I've had to acquire. You do start with your nation flag, though, so you don't have to acquire that one. Um, I'm going to get... I don't really need money. I've actually got tons of money. I'll get ship damage stuff like this one. Shredder gives me higher damage on, on the uh, sails on ships. Your officers also give you... Or your officers also can level up. So I've got Davy Jones as my gunner, but I... Oh yeah, he, he still got some stuff to get. Um, so also you can have officers, not only officers that are fighters for you, like you've seen, but also officers that have a role in your ship. So a navigator makes you go faster. The boson makes your soldiers better fighters. Um, also the boson has an ability to, before you board a ship, and this is historically accurate, often what happened uh, is, especially if you're other nations, not less so pirates, but other nations, if you're going to board a ship, often what happens is people just think that the, the fighting that goes on is cannon versus cannon, and then you 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 uh, throw your hooks and you board the ship. Um, in the middle there, there's also pirates who will pull out a musket and blast you in your ship as well. And so that also happens. And so there's a, there's a musket volley that also happens when you're boarding a ship. So if you're getting close, pirates, if you have weapons, that's what those important the weapons are for. When you get close and you're going to board... Uh, both ships will fire muskets at each other, and that will also decimate some crew. So if you have a boson, then he's, he increases that. The chief gunners for your cannons. The doctor uh, prevents some damage to your crew. Uh, the treasurer uh, gives you better merchant transactions, lower prices, uh, or like lower prices or higher prices, depending on what you're doing. Carpenter fixes your ship. He's more efficient with materials, and he fixes it faster. And then there's also fighters, which are essentially bodyguards. You can also have companions, which are essentially captains uh, in your in your fleet, uh, or and also passengers. They just kind of hang around. Uh, notice that there's some negatives here. There are ship classes, and based on your ability, you are able to uh, better uh, uh, be a captain on a ship. If a ship is is too big for you, then you will get negative stats if you're uh, sailing it. But I don't care about this because it's just a captain in a ship, and I don't. Some people play the game where, like in Port Royal 1, you have multiple fighter ships. I just have one fighter ship, and then the rest of my, my uh, ships just haul cargo for me. In Port Royal 1, you definitely want more battleships. Uh, but in this game, unfortunately in this game, the maximum fleet size is 5, which is, is kind of sucks. I, I actually think it might be 6, but I think I have to be higher level. But... It kind of sucks. I really liked in Port Royale where you could do 10 on 10 fleet battles. Like that's just fantastic. I don't know why they can't make a game where you can have bigger fleet battles, but I'm not sure even historically how big fleet battles were. But um, anyways, uh, so that's I think I've done enough on these stats. Uh, I'll just show you briefly my ships. So there's the ships I have. I think that might be a custom ship in the um, ex uh, in the modified. Uh, part of this game, but it's a neat ship actually and then these are just some other ships like this is it whoops This is a um, See how many decks there are on this ship and you can see the cannons here. There's cannons and there's culverins I think I might have a ship with culverins culverins are smaller ships. They're almost like mortars They shoot farther, but they do less damage and there's also cannons and you can get some pretty big cannons like 32 pound cannons when we're getting up into the 30s and 40s and 50s cannons that's like fort cannons so you can put fort cannons on ships that's why they sometimes call them the floating fortresses because they just the cannons on these ships can just be massive in any case my ship is this one 
24 pound cannons, 56 of them. And you've, uh, here's 36 pound cannons, 74 of them. So if you broadside someone with that and you're high enough level, you can really destroy sh ships pretty fast. Anyways, uh, here's the crew, here's the stats on their food and ramen and all that, uh, and then here's what they're hauling. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go to um, a pirate town called Le Francois, which is um, just off of, I can't remember now what the town is called, but I think it's up here. And uh, you can get all kinds of maps in the game, so maybe I'll show you that. Uh, randomly, these red weapons are high, are like uh, end game weapons. Uh, you know, there are, there's also blue weapons, which are not quite the best, and then there are white weapons, which is just generic. So I've got a really good pistol that actually has four barrels in it, so I could shoot it four times before I have to sit there and reload it. Uh, but the beginning pistols that you start it with will be uh, just a single shot. Uh, and then of course there's there's light, medium, and, and heavy weapons, and there's a spyglass. The spyglass is not really that useful, except if you're going to go first person mode on your ship, and then you can use your spyglass to see another uh, another ship. But I don't really bother with that. I just use I just use th uh, third person battles. You can buy these little maps, and the nice thing about these maps, so here's Bermuda. This is actually where you start in the game. You start in Bermuda, you start at the, this part's 